Hi everybody, it's Goody Parade and today I have the exclusive special edition Draculaura doll and uh, this is an Amazon exclusive. You can only get it on Amazon.com or from a third party that bought it from Amazon themselves. Um, she's quite a bit different looking. She has a different body type and of course this box is pretty special. I did notice here on the bottom it says adult collector. I don't think that's entirely true. I think there's a lot of kid collectors that can take good care of their dolls too. Are you a collector? Let me know. So really pretty in this silver uh, writing it says Draculaura established 411 AD. Wow that makes her really 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 old. I love the edges of this box how it looks kind of stone and uh, it has spider webs everywhere so it really kind of looks like an old stone um, I don't want to say coffin what would you call that a sarcophagus maybe on the top here is this bat and all the stone looking around the uh, coffin is like dripping and cracked and really aged since it's been around since the year 411 <laughs> and there's these cool real intricate looking handles that bottom is just plain and the handles again let's see what it says on the back it has this beautiful stunning uh, drawing of her okay wow it has a lot to say here uh, let me go ahead and try and read it really quick she is a hopeless romantic and the soul of a poet a gentle-hearted friend who is kind and loyal to a fault her favorite accent color is pink and she loves the warmth and light of a sunny day you almost wouldn't know that she's a vampire except that she is draculaura student fear squad member friend of werewolves fan of days at the beach daughter of dracula himself and in all ways heir to his legacy save for one she is a riddle wrapped in wrapped in sweetness inside an infectious laugh this is draculaura like you have never seen her before resplendent in a satin and lace embroidered dress every detail painstakingly crafted to represent the height of victorian vampire fashion in the late 19th century take a stroll with her through the foggy streets of old lundoom and rediscover an old friend or make a new one i don't know that i'd really want to be making new friends uh, on the streets of lundoom but um, I would like to get her out of her box. I really like this box because you don't have to tear it open or anything. You can just simply, <laughs> after I said that, you can just simply slide it off. And when it's like this, it really does kind of look like a coffin <laughs> with her laying in it. And uh, one of the really nice details is this beautiful kind of pink satin tufted look like you would see in an old movie in a coffin with the ruffled satin inside. Really nice touch. Also a really pretty way to display her. You could just display her right in this box. I like it better without the lid on because the, uh, you know, the shine is so strong it's nearly impossible to really see her. So let's get a close up look at her. She has these, I mean, the first thing I notice <laughs> is those eyelashes. She has these extremely long, huge, chunky eyelashes. She does have kind of this uh, lace hat on and this beautiful umbrella that I do believe works. So when we get that out, we will play with it. And then this dress is all lace and I love this on the back that almost makes like webbed wings, like a little capelet. And then it goes all the way down, lace, 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 into this big ruffle all the way down here. And I don't know if you can really tell just uh, on video, but she is taller than the normal doll. She has a longer torso and I, I can personally tell just right here, it looks a lot longer to me, in fact, it looks a little funny to me because the um, the breast area seems really small and narrow and then the hips kind of protrude. So to me, it really kind of seems disproportionate, but you know, we'll see better when we get her out. It does look like she comes with this groovy stand that's quite different than the normal stand we've seen as a bunch of bats and cool stuff that uh, we'll get a better look at when we get her out. So I think we should get her out already.
Okay, that wasn't too difficult. All right, now that I have this off, you can see it, it's a spider web under her head. It starts as a spider web and goes out in that beautiful tufted way. I think that's a really pretty insert. I really like that. Okay, let's get her out of here. I'm just wondering if I'm gonna get to be able to put her in the frame because she is so tall. Um, I think we'll just start with her face here. She has, uh, it looks like purple eyes. And I don't know if it's just my doll or if they all look like this, but I feel like she's looking up. She's looking up at something. Uh, I'm not sure if that's just the way she's painted, but she is very pretty. She does have three dimensional eyelashes and uh, little gray eyebrows, little mouth. I think her mouth almost looks a little bit smaller than normal. This hat is just stunning kind of almost like a little basket and then on the back it has looks like a bat I don't know if you can see it right here really cute her hair is like this cotton candy pink and it's actually pretty soft I thought it was a little bit ratty but it's actually in looking pretty good and she has this little curly whirl that hangs down here Oh, she's amazing. She does not have earrings on. I don't think she needs them with this getup. Uh, around her neck, she does have this little kind of, it's tied with a ribbon around the back, a little pink ribbon. And it's like a little ascot kind of tied on there with a little bow, a little black and white bow. And that's kind of pink see-through. And then this cape she has on, let's see how this goes on. It's, oh my gosh, is that beautiful? It's stunning. Um, it's, I, for first I thought it actually, the sleeves went all the way down, but uh, it actually separates. It's just a little elastic holding around the wrists that holds the cape up. And then this sheer part is part that goes to the dress. Yes, and it is hooked to the whole bodice part, the whole body here. And you can see how her whole long body goes down. Gosh, I'm really tempted to just take this off to see what her body looks like. You guys want me to? Oh, that looks cool with the um, cape put up, like a giant collar almost. I love it. That would be a really cute way to display her. Well, she's like fashion model tall, but again, I'm not sure if I like the proportions or if they totally freak me out. <laughs> So let's see, where were we? She doesn't have any jewelry on her hands or wrists, just the sheer sleeves and then this whole lace piece that goes down the whole front of her dress. The back of her dress is beautiful, feels, feels like taffeta, like a real gown. I'm not saying this is not a real gown, this is absolutely a real gown, just doll size. And it has this kind of striped piping going around here. and. Uh, more of this lace, but with pink underneath that really sets it off. And then these kind of bat wing shaped scooped ruffles around the bottom. It's like a full on Little Mermaid style dress. And then underneath, oh well, look at that. Her, her shins are extra long. That's kind of creepy looking and fabulous all at the same time. I don't know. And she does have some vintage style spectators on, although they uh, do have a platform, so that's bringing it to the now. And on the back, oh, that is so cool. I don't know if you can see it. It's, it's a bat all wrapped up in its wings. You know how they sleep, but like this. Really super detailed. That is a cool shoe with all the little buttons down the side. Super big point. I always like a point. And then over here again. Those are stunning. I really love them. <laughs> wonder how tall she is compared to a normal doll. All right, I do have an Alyssa bat around here, Gus. Alyssa bat has been getting in a lot of videos lately. <laughs> I need to switch her out with some other ones. So she's a typical size doll, and uh, this is the Draculaura. So that would be like a normal person standing next to a supermodel. So that kind of makes sense. All right, Alyssa bat, you can go back to your stand. Let's set her back here. Let's do her stand. This stand alone is kind of worth it with these. Oh, wow, that's so cool. It has little bats and webs up all the way to the top. 
And then the base is really thick and chunky. It has kind of the bat scallops and spider webs and looks like bat eyes on there or something. And of course it says Monster High. I'm guessing this is pretty self-explanatory. All right, there you go. It kind of goes to the side. It's kind of asymmetrical. And then this part that scoops around her body, this is actually kind of a really good idea. It actually almost makes like a little belt. They look like little bat wings. So maybe instead of detracting, maybe it will actually add to the actual finished dress. So this is gonna just go right through here. Okay. Mm. So, and uh, this one seems to go right down to a certain spot where you're supposed to snap it to, unlike the other ones that are adjustable. So I actually kind of like that because it tells you where it's supposed to be. Sometimes I end up like toying around with them for a while, figuring out the perfect spot. Okay, I'm gonna be really careful so as to not ruin her stunning gown. Okay, well, yeah, it actually, you know, it, it does. You know, I wouldn't say it totally accents it, but it doesn't really detract from it. Kind of pushes her out just ever so slightly. Like she's leaning forward. It does hold her really well and you don't see it. It doesn't detract at all. So she's looking gorgeous, look at that. Beautiful display doll. All right, enough, let's get to this umbrella. She's had several umbrellas along the way. She did have that one in Love at First Bite and it was open, which I love that one. And then she's had some that are closed, but I've never seen her have one that actually opens and closes, and this one's supposed to do that. It's all lace and fabric with a little bat at the top like her others with a long uh, stick and a handle that has a little bat on it too, if you can see that. A little hard on the end here. So let's go ahead and do it. <gasps> oh my God, that scared me. So yeah, you push it up and it snaps in place and it's very firm when it is snapped in place like a real parasol. That is amazing. The only bad thing about the doll is that with her having different proportions, you can't share the outfit with anybody else. But you know, would you really want to? Probably just wanna display her. They are calling her for the adult collector, which, which I think is kind of discriminating, actually. So there she is with her parasol, so precious. So now that I said it, I'm getting kind of interested about <laughs> taking her outfit off. What do you guys think? Should I do it or no? I'm not sure. Will I be able to get it back on correctly? Um, well, before I get totally crazy and do that, I did find this little booklet in the box when I lifted out the inner part that she was strapped into. I am definitely not going to read it, but I will try and hold it still for a second in case any of you crazy people want to try and do anything. What does that say? Fantastic. Daughter of Dracula. Don't you wish they'd make parents dolls? I totally want some parents. There she is in her uh, fashion magazine spread. Her Vogue spread. Oh, freaky fashions. Oh, I like that. Oh, look at how pretty her hair is there. Well, it definitely doesn't look that like that, but it's nice. Cute. Very cute little book. All right, Dracula, what do you think? Are you up for it? Up for uh, taking some of this off? Let me kind of look at the hat. Okay, the hat actually has little uh, plastic tags that have punched into her head so I am not gonna mess this this looks like there's a hat pin I wonder if the hat pin comes out okay I couldn't get it out so I'm not gonna force it what do you think outfit off yes let's do it I almost never do this so this will be kind of fun her little ascot thing has a little bow here that is so cute it kind of reminds me of Tim Burton with the black and white stripe so the cape has elastic at the wrist and at the armpit I'm gonna unsnap her hands because I can tell I'm gonna have to to get this sheer blouse off here so I'm gonna take the that off of there and then I'm gonna come over here and do the same thing take that hand off carefully and that elastic off as careful as I can all right, let's see how we're gonna do the, if we put the arms back, pull it down. 
Oh, that came off nice. Well, she doesn't have hands. <laughs> but um, it's kind of nice to see the dress without the um, cape, just to kind of really see its design and lines of it. Really pretty. All right, I am gonna show you the cape while it's off too. That is so beautiful. I love that. I could use this on your regular size Draculaura. Totally, that is amazing. So yeah, it looks like there's not like, like here's one goes on the wrist and one goes on the wrist and this whole thing I believe went under her, just under her armpits. The one went under both. Beautiful, love it. Love that as much as the umbrella almost. Let's do shoes next. Those shoes are pretty amazing. Even on the platform, there's all this kind of detail if you can see pressed into the plastic. Mm. Gorgeous. Whoa, look at that foot. That foot is up on its tippy toe. <laughs> okay. We did see her long legs from the knee down. It's the moment of truth, Draculaura. How do you guys say Draculaura? I used to say Draculaura until I saw a Dracula movie and they call him Dracula. And I believe I even saw that in the Monster High movie where someone called her Draculaura. So sometimes I call her that, but then people say mean things in the comments saying I'm saying it wrong. <laughs> so how do you say it? Do you say Draculaura or Draculaura? I'm unvelcroing the back. Oh, looks like she's got some muscles there, just barely on her skinny arms. All right. And is this going to slide over those hips? <gasps> it did. Oh my gosh. Well, her body is very similar to a, a Monster High. You know, just a normal Monster High. It does appear that she has kind of bigger shoulders, shoulder muscle right there. Right there and her uh, breasts appear to be a little bit bigger. Also, she has a joint right there, which is kind of interesting so she can bend. I like that. That's pretty neat. I think she can do a twist. Do, 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 do. And um, and she's got that long, long torso and hips and articulated at the knee. Yeah, actually, you know, I mean, her legs definitely are super long, but she's not that, it's not that weird. I'm glad I took the dress off because now I don't feel like she's that weirdy, weirdy, weirdy. All right, now let's look at the dress without her in it. That is just unbelievable. Really, really, really pretty. These um, doll dress designers just must have a blast. I would not want to be the uh, seamstress sewing this though. I can't imagine trying to sew this and then turn it inside out or right side out. <laughs> okay guys, tell me what you think. Did you like uh, the special edition Draculaura? Do you have her? And do you think it should just be for adult collectors or should it be for everybody? Okay everybody, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and bye for now.